everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my January favorites. These are one of my favorite videos to watch, um, and these are of course my first one, this is of course my first one I've ever done, so I'm excited to do them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The sun's going down, which you can kind of see the blinds. Where did it go? Like you can see the blinds are kind of getting all like liney and stuff. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense, but... I don't care. <laughs> so I'm going to start with face products and I'm going to go ahead and just do powders. The first one is, you guys should probably already know, the NARS um, Powder in Mountain. Of course I have hit Pan as you can see. Um, this is my second one. i got to go by my third one. It's my Holy Grail Powder. I don't have a Sephora near me so that's the reason why I went and bought this other favorite and it's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. Hello just looks like that. Um, I love the NARS powder because since I don't wear foundation, it gives me more coverage and stuff. So it looks really good. And the Mineralized Skin Finish one, it's still really good, but um, it doesn't keep me as matte. And like I said, it doesn't supply as much coverage as the NARS does. So um, I do still love the NARS. When I get to go to Sephora, I'm definitely going to get it. But um, the MAC has been really good as, for an alternative. For bronzers, it's definitely been Casino. Um, I love this bronzer. It's super dark, but it's really, really pretty and not too much. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm still sick. For blushes, I have two from MAC and one from NARS. And the one from NARS is in this Dan Mari palette that I got. And it's Sin. I love Sin. I think it's the most gorgeous color ever. Um, it's just a nice kind of mauve color. Oh, sorry about the sun going down, guys. Can't control the sun, but um, Sin, definitely one of my favorites. It's just a go-to um, blush for me. And then um, another one is from MAC, and this is Dolly Mix. I love this blush. It just makes your skin look so nice. It is a sheer tone shimmer, but I find that it's not too shimmery. Like, I hate in this palette. Oh, my God, I hate Super Orgasm. I hate it. I hate it. Um, but I do love the sheer tone shimmer ones from MAC. I find that they're not... Um, too shimmery and it's like a fine fine uh, glitter in there so I love it and then this one you guys have seen um, in my haul and like a makeup tutorial and it is Love Rush I cannot get enough of this blush I'm wearing it today seriously it's the most amazing blush I've just been like in awe of it I just love it um, so we're going on to concealers I before I bought this other favorite I was using this one like a religion, or like my religion, like a religion, I don't know. It's the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, and mine's in 335 light medium. Seriously, you guys, if you do not want to go spend a bunch of money on a really good concealer, I recommend this more than anything. It is gorgeous, and it covers up redness, makes your skin look flawless. I mean, it's amazing, so I do recommend that. Uh, but if you want more of a high-end one, and I personally love this one. It covers up dark circles, just brightens up your eyes, and it's the MAC Select Cover-Up, and I'm an NW30. Um, I know I just bought this, but I have been using this every single day. It just makes my skin look so nice, and um, it brightens up my eyes so well, because when I get up in the mornings for work, especially this week, I've needed some concealer, because I've been so tired and just, like, exhausted. So, I recommend this one from MAC. Ugh, cannot breathe. Um, for mascaras, it has been the CoverGirl Lash Perfection, and this is in very black. And then over top, I use the Sumptuous Extreme. I think I explained this in my makeup tutorial, but this CoverGirl one is really great at getting close to the root and lengthening and separating your lashes. And then the Estee Lauder one, the dogs are messing up stuff downstairs, I swear. Every time I film a video, they have to do something. But this one is really good at making your lashes very black and thick and just like BAM. So love these two together. They're amaze balls. And then um, for lipsticks, I have Revlon Soft Nude, which is just a nude that I cannot get enough of. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, you can't see. But it just looks like that. Perfect nude. Does not wash me out. Nothing. That's why I love it so much. And then I have been in love with Cream Cup. Just a nice pink lipstick with um, a bluish kind of undertone. I don't know. It's very gorgeous, though. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. It's going to look really great. Um, it's that one, if you can even tell. It's going to look so amazing in the wintertime. And then the last favorite 
for some reason I I have not done a tutorial on this but every time I do my makeup in the morning there's at least one color that I go to in this palette if it's um, the black um, if it's the highlight if it's blackout or no not blackout if it's busted verve um, not verve what's it yeah verve's really nice too but tease oh my gosh so I am talking about the naked 2 palette I keep going back to this no matter if it's doing a whole look from this, getting a few colors from it. I really do love it. Um, I do have to admit, the blackout, it is really good, but I just keep going back to Max Carbon um, because it's so much easier to blend out, and for some reason it just looks better to me. I don't know. Um, so blackout's really good to like line my bottom lash line, but to use as like an eyeshadow eyeshadow. I've been loving Carbon. I can't get enough of it. It's just my favorite black that I've found. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my January favorites. It wasn't much, but that's just basically what I've been going back to and stuff. And another thing, you guys have been asking about the paint pot that I use. Um, been using this since July, June, July. Way back when, in the summertime, like right in the very beginning. And it's Soft Ochre from MAC. It just looks like this. It's lighter than Painterly. Um... But once you put, uh, like, eyeshadow on it and stuff, it just kind of takes away the color anyway. So, yeah, um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.